I mean, jam-packed weather this week. I'm telling you, it starts tomorrow. It actually already started with these frigid temperatures, and it's only getting colder right now, though. It's dry, high pressure in control. We'll stay in control for a little while longer before things start to take a shift. Uh, so far for the month of January, 5.8 inches of snow fell the other day. The normal toll for the month, 7 inches, and we're not even nearly finished just yet, so we are above average in that category. And as far as temperatures go, we did peak at 30 degrees, uh, so it did go up uh, since 5 o'clock, so we adjusted those numbers. Uh, the morning low was uh, 20 degrees, so below in both categories, and we're expecting to get possible record temperatures with the coldest highs possible come Tuesday. In the meantime, again, highs across the board at or below freezing, and temperatures have already gone down to about 21 degrees, Bridgeport 29, New York City uh, 24 as well in uh, Belmar, and we'll start to see those temperatures rise. I know it's a little confusing because normally during the overnight period, temperatures are supposed to take a dip, right? No, the opposite is going to ring true. So here's a look at what's ahead. We have increasing clouds close to around midnight. Then this is freezing rain highlighted in pink. Usually it indicates either like that wintry mix, but in this case, this is going to be freezing rain coming through beginning in the Hudson Valley, New Jersey, and then things will start to really filter in here. So around the 8 o'clock hour, it'll be a little bit more widespread with the exception of Suffolk as well as Nassau County and southern New Jersey and even Staten Island. Then we'll see that transition to all rain as those temperatures rise above freezing as we head into Sunday. It'll be all rain all across and it'll be light to moderate rain so it'll be more widespread. But I still want you to be careful because that icy glaze is going to be quite possible with the previous storm that was here that brought in all that snow, snowpack to have to contend with, of course. Then what's going to happen from here on out, a strong cold front will come through. This Arctic front will provide us with possibly a few snowflakes, but more so those frigid temperatures. Ice accumulation quite possible in the city as well as points north and west. Right now, it doesn't look like it for places like West Hampton. Islip, but there could be a trace amount. Remember, the ground is still so cold from all this freezing conditions that we've had. Future cast rainfall totals less than a quarter of an inch in most cases, but we could get to about 0.32 in Montgomery, as you can see there. Future cast wind chills indicating those wind chills. It's going to feel like the teens and 20s. And get this, as we head into Monday morning, single digits. And if you think that's cold, Tuesday morning, Negative seven, negative four, as you can see in New York City, Islip respectively, negative 10 in Bridgeport. And here's a look ahead because we're tweaking as we go, right? We do have that warm front coming through, hence the warmer air arriving, but not too far behind. We'll have that stronger cold front. That's what's going to bring in the colder air. We could have some snow behind it. We're going to keep an eye on that. Monday, we clear out those strong winds are going to be a concern as well. Possible record numbers on Tuesday, Wednesday staying below normal. But this system right here, we're going to closely track that for later on in the week because that could yield yet another coastal low. But models are in disagreement at this point, so it's something that we're going to have to watch. Here, a look at those possible record cold highs that we're tracking central park 15 but taking a look at our seven day it looks like right now our forecasted high is 17 that could change then temperatures will begin to rebound somewhat later in the week but again we're tracking the potential for another storm back over to you Katie.